Most genome sequencing projects utilize shotgun sequencing. According to yourgenome.org, shotgun sequencing involves randomly breaking up genomic DNA into lots of small pieces, sequencing these small pieces of DNA, and then reassembling the sequence by looking for regions of overlap. So, when a genome is sequenced, the result is not a sequence from end to end, but many fragments of the DNA sequence or sequence reads. The whole genome cannot be sequenced from end to end due to limitations in sequencing technology. So, these reads must be reassembled in order to visualize the genome. These lines represent sequence fragments or reads. We take these sequence fragments and find areas that overlap to put the sequence back together. The highlighted regions represent overlaps. Let's take a closer look. Here we can see that the sequence of nucleotides at one end of the first fragment matches the sequence at one end of the second fragment. This is an overlap. When overlaps are detected, sequences are joined to create a contiguous sequence, or a contate. Because of deficiencies such as missing data and errors, we still do not end up with a complete sequence. We end up with multiple contigs or contiguous alignments. Additional technology and references can be used to assemble the contigs into scaffolds to put together the entire genome sequence. It should be noted, however, that there are challenges that researchers face when piecing together a genome. Errors do occur and information can be lost. Programmers and researchers are always trying to improve technologies and bioinformatics strategies that help us more accurately sequence genomes.